we continue exploring this fantastic tuning app and with the last tile, the review building block. And again, an organized way of reviewing the data in Curator. As I explained before, in Curator you have host definition and host reference. Reference is the new way, you just reference set. Definition is the old way. Both are valid. You have defined in one, you don't have to have, have it defined in the other one. Uh, Curator invites you to do more things uh, in, in reference sets. Uh, now, this one, when you, well, you, you, of course you have an introduction and you can watch those things. Uh, but in here, let me actually expand this, to, that it explains the color. You know, these are building blocks that have never been updated and in orange, the ones that have updated in the last 30 days and you can modify these. Uh, you can see all uh, host definition of the most common ones, so I can uh, put them in here. So let's click, for example, on DNS servers. Notice that I have some host definition, again, the old way, and reference sets that I don't have anyone put in my reference sets. So perhaps I should go here and uh, actually add uh, a dot a dot a dot eight, you know, and that should, you know, allow Curator to know better to have the, the server discovery, discover uh, DNS uh, calls to uh, Google's, right? And then for every one of those reference set or, or host definitions, you can actually go back to the actual rules. I mean, these things are all related in, in you know the the, the 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 most noisy rules the one that these patch events uh, your revisions of the network hierarchy your building blocks but this is a, a structured way of methodical way of guiding you to make sure that your uh, curator system is, is is tuned now to have this uh, this tool detect all this information the installation process uh, it's not as trivial as it is with the vast majority of, if not all, the, uh, the application because in this particular case you need to run a shell script that is actually going to be extracting the way that your curator system is installed and every curator system has a different set of rules and different building blocks and all. So this shell script is going to extract that information and make it available to the app with one important consideration. It, you don't have to give that process root access. Uh, there are other mechanisms of doing this in which you need to provide root access, which is, you know, a security concern for many people. So what we're going to be doing in the last video of this series is show you how you actually run that, uh, install the, the app and run that shell script to extract that information.